Alrighty. It is time. Let's do it, friends. The Iron Class. Obtain a random rare card. Obtain a random common relic. Lose 7 max HP to choose a rare colorless card to obtain. Ooh, if you know me, you know which one I'm picking. We have a slime boss. Guess what? It's pretty good against slime boss. A nice bomb. I'd say. How many elites can we fight? We could fight three. Um, in order to do that, we would have to fight the spicy elite first, though. Which is a bit suboptimal, especially with no rest site before that. Also, with no resting at all, we just go straight. Straight up to the boss after fighting three lights. It seems a bit questionable. What are some other options? Um, well, we could go over here. Rest elite shop. Rest elite. Problem is, we have a shop here as well, and two shops is a little bit suboptimal. We could... We could go... Hmm. These shops are kind of weird, because there's another shop here, which you'd rather go to, but in order to get to this shop, you have to go to these shops. Let's see, let, let, let's see what our card, let's see what our, our option is. So I think it's between a common relic and choose a rare colorless, and I love choosing a rare colorless, so I think I will do this one. 7 max HP isn't a huge cost. Dang, we didn't get my top three favorites. Sad. We missed out on the bomb, the hand of greed, and the apotheosis. Master of Strategy is my fourth favorite, I think. Just simply draw three cards for zero energy. Kind of like a backpack, but you don't know when you'll draw it. I like the picture. What are these upgrade to? This upgrades to put an attack from your draw pile into your hand, not exhaust. This upgrades to shuffle five instead of three. And this upgrades to draw four cards. All right. Yeah, let's take Master of Strategy. I think that's a good one. Although it is not helping us versus the early elites that much. Only really helping versus um, sentries. For centuries, it's good though. Um, yeah, so I think given that this uh, triple elite is extremely difficult and too ambitious, and maybe we should consider the other paths. So what about this one on the left? You have elite, rest, elite, and then a bunch of advanced hallways. Hmm. What about just question mark farming and going up to this rest and then having these two elites? I'm honestly down for that.
We have two hallways, but then this four question marks will probably give us one hallway. And then we can upgrade, and then we have our elites. And then if we think that something went really, really well, then we could still fight the spicy elite, but I doubt it. That way we're not, like, wasting shops, kind of. Wasting spots on shops. All right, it is our friends, the Red Louses. These guys buff and do not spit weakness, by the way. Um, we have Burning Blood still, so taking one chip damage is completely fine. Save the Master Strategy for later. All right, we have a choice between Heavy Blade, Iron Wave, and Clash. This early in the game, I think Iron Wave is pretty good. It's a to strike and a defend in one card. Clash is not so good when you have a Cinder's Bane, unless you have Blue Candle. And Heavy Blade is um, a little bit questionable. Two energy deal 14 is kind of just like two strikes at once. And if you have Strength Scaling, it can be good, but since we don't, kind of not good. Uh, but even then, it's still only okay. Usually not picking Heavy Blade. I like Iron Wave much better. Okay, so we can spend 75 gold to remove a card from our deck. Um, the heal is currently going to Wasted. Hello friend, I am Cleric! Well, seeing as we're not planning to go to any shops, spending our gold is good. Uh, we can remove a Strike. It's fine. Doesn't really make our deck that much better though. It will be good in the long run. Oh my, it's time to spin the wheel! Please no curse, please no curse, please no curse, please no curse, please no curse. <gasps> we got a relic! En enjoy a gift! Guria, you can now gain strength at rest sites up to three times. Wow. That's awesome. So if we don't have a good card we want to upgrade, we can just gain one strength permanently. And that upgrades all of our attacks for the rest of the game. So that's pretty cool. Okay, it's a jaw worm. Now, um... We can master strategy to try and draw Iron Wave here. That'd be pretty good. So now we have a choice between Iron Wave Defend Strike or Bash Iron Wave. Um, we have Triple Strike next turn, so probably the Bash is just too good. If we Bash Iron Wave, um, we're dealing 13 plus 27 is 40. Hmm. But if he's attacking again, well, if we def uh, defend strike iron wave, we deal 11 plus 18 is 29. Um, then he is at like maybe 16 ish, but he might have gained block. Hmm. Yeah, so we can do the bash play, I guess. Um, I just take a lot of damage versus Jawworm recently, and I would rather... Oh, perfect, he's buffing. Easy, we did the right play. Yeah, I think it... We might not have lethal... We, we wouldn't have lethal here. Oh, we don't have lethal here anyway, but... It's fine. Nice. 19 gold, we only lost 1 HP. And now we have a choice between Rage, Uppercut, and Flex. Alright, well, we don't need a Flex, right? We have Guria for strength, and we don't have a lot of zero energy attacks anyway. But Uppercut is in a beautiful card, especially this early in Act 1. I'd love to take an Uppercut here. 
The question is, do we upgrade Uppercut or do we uh, gain strength at the rest site? That's going to be the question. You duck into a small hut. Inside you find what appears to be a forge. The smithing tools are covered with dust, yet a fire roars inside the furnace. You feel on edge. Well, we can obtain a special relic, the Warped Tongs, which upgrades a random card in our hand at the start of each turn for the rest of the, the combat. Unfortunately, it comes with a curse. Pain says that whenever you play a card and it's in your hand, you lose one HP. And we don't have a way to remove that curse. Like, that curse is here for a while, and that is really painful. Um, so I don't actually think we can take the warp Tongues here. Let us upgrade our uppercut. Alright, and now we have to ask ourselves, do we want to divert to this spicy elite? We have an uppercut plus. We have an iron wave. We have a master of strategy. I don't know, it's pretty risky, right? Like, go to this elite, then we go to this elite, then we go to this elite. I don't think we have the HP for that. Alternatively, we can gain a strength permanently. So this is like giving us a Vadra that we would get from this elite by just going to this rest site. And it's a much safer path. Lift! Start battles with plus one strength. Uppercut, turn one, boom, master of strategy, strike, boom. Nice. Back up to full HP, we got an elixir, which is kind of useless. And now we have a choice between spot weakness, metallicize, and rupture. Um, well... Metallicize and Rupture are some powers here, but um, not really that into it. Especially for Slime Boss, Metallicize isn't even that good. Since it doesn't attack the first two turns. Spot Weakness is interesting though. We can have a way to start scaling our strength up. And then we can really start picking cards that synergize with strength because we have all our Gurya strength. We have even our spot weakness strength sometimes. I think spot weakness is, is decent here, actually. And these two I'm not really that interested in. Let's try out the spot weakness and let's fight the elite. It is the sentries. So versus this sentries fight, it's going to be pretty useful if we can um, Save our master of strategy for when we're drawing dazed. This will apply the vulnerable, although the weak will get cancelled. So our strike deals 10. Then we take 10 damage, but it was inevitable. Um, unfortunately, we do not have lethal on this guy. Which is really sad, because... Um, it would have been nice to not take that 10. Yeah, so here, as I was mentioning, we are going to um, save our master strategy for later. Um, oh, it's not even into this shuffle, though. Dang, that's unlucky. That's actually so unlucky. Um, we can either bash, or we can spot weakness here, or we can take 5 damage. Um... We have four attacks, so Spot Weakness is dealing at most 12. Bash is already dealing 12 right now. So we should probably bash over Spot Weakness if it's between those. Um, how many turns do you think we'll have until lethal? I think, um, so let's see. We have four strength. So these are doing 10. This is doing at least 17. Um, 27 and 12 is 39. Well, we could spot weakness and then bash on this guy. Try to go for lethal immediately. Uh, 
our chances of drawing a defend are not even that high. So it could save us life. Um, so if we did that play, we would deal 15 to that. It would be at 26. And we would need to draw uppercut to kill it still. No, we wouldn't. We would have 7 strength. And our strikes would be dealing 13. And that would be at 26. So we would just need 2 strikes or an uppercut. Which I honestly think is higher chance than us drawing a defend. Well, is it? I don't know. I don't know. If we draw a defend, we'll just play defend. It's fine. So yeah, yeah, sad. Okay. This is a rough fight. This is a really rough fight. On the right side, if we had gone for this guy, we wouldn't have even killed it, so. Alright, please let me draw a strike next turn. Yes, okay. Uh, Nunchaku says every time we play 10 attacks, we gain mana. A regen potion, very, very good. And now we have a choice between Body Slam, Carnage, and Fire Breathing. Fire Breathing is very good versus the Slime Boss, which is coming up. Also, we have Carnage, which is less good with a Strength deck, though. But it is good versus Slime. And we have Body Slam. We don't really have enough block to justify Body Slam right now. I think the Fire Breathing is decent. We can uh, beat up the Slime boss by uh, all of our Slimes dealing 6 AoE. Ice cream energy is now preserved between turns, friends. Ice cream. It's here. For us. Um, yeah. So 14 and 10 is 24. Well... This is awkward. Maybe I should have... Well, no, I mean, there was nothing I really could have done. It's just bad that we drew only one block and missed on the other three. Oh wow! We just take a hit for 11. I'm trying to charge up the Ninchaku maybe. Oh my goodness. Uh, we take one more. It wasn't as bad as I thought. Um, Rage, Rampage, or Wild Strike? Not a huge fan of Rampage. Not a huge fan of Wild Strike. Um, do we want to Rage though? We currently have one added, one energy attack. Which is less good if we're spending our energy on spot weakness and fire breathing for damage. This could be a skip on the rage. Rage will save us some life versus this elite. Um, are we even comfortable being at this elite with a regen and 28? I think so. Could be knob, in which case rage wouldn't save us anything. Alright, let's skip. Shop! We don't really have enough gold for much. 
Don't want to spend 56 gold on an anger. Good card remove. Card remove a Strico. If it's the Gavlin, this ice cream is going to be so big. Um, yeah, not really that into most of these, right? 56 gold for an anger is a bit excessive. We could save our gold for next act. Um, because strike's fine in our rest of our things in this act. We could even get Pandora's box still. Yeah. Let's save the gold. Oh well. Okay, it's the knob. Um, we do have uppercut. Should be sure to use this though. Cause I don't want to die. All right, we have an extra energy next turn. Can't use it though. Hmm. We're gonna take a big hit. Maybe we can master strategy for our uppercut though and it will weaken him. Yeah, the Nunchaku energy is even saved. Cool. Um, next turn we have Lethal probably. Yeah. So, the question is, does Defend save us life right now? Uh, I think it does, although I'm not sure. Dang it, it didn't. Alright, 25 gold, a centennial puzzle. The first time you lose HP each combat, draw three cards. Skill potion. And a shockwave, wow. Do we want a shockwave? I think we probably do. I love shockwave in general. Um, we do already have an uppercut, but... Shockwave hits all the enemies. Cleave is also decent versus slime boss. But, um... I, I love shockwave. It's a good card. All right, it's our favorite nasty advanced hallway. Green slime and blue slaver. Well, S isn't as bad as green slime and pink slaver, I guess. I think we target the slime first. We can uppercut it. Should probably skill potion. Master of strategy first. Are we just always uppercutting? Yeah, but we can draw an iron wave maybe. Hmm. An offering? Uh, that is probably good, yeah. It draws even more of a centennial puzzle, so how do we deal with that? Should have uppercut first. Um, well, we drew spot weakness, so we can spot weakness and then iron wave, and that will be dealing, um, 
Uh, let's see, so 9 and 4 is 13, and it's at 16, so it doesn't really work out so well. We can fire breathing for some AoE when we get the slimed. We can gain block. Um, well, we can iron wave strike on this guy, and then we can block, and then we will full block. Try to not take as much damage as possible. He raked. Oh no. Uh, we have one energy from Intraco if we double strike, but we don't really want to double strike. We, we don't do it, just make him weak and block. We have our elixir. Nah. Unlikely that the shuffle will even go around that much. Well, we can gain enough block if we defend Iron Wave. I uh, don't have any junk, so fire breathing is not high priority here. Oh, I forgot about my Nunchaku energy. Dang, that was a mistake. I could have gotten in an uppercut. Spot weakness, defend, bash. Which one is more important? We're going to be weak again next turn. Ah. Oh. So spot weakness gains us how much strength if we're weakened? Uh, so it gains us three strength, and then weakened means that um, so strike goes up to be dealing ten, and then down to be dealing seven again. So it's just like a bash. It's like, do we want to spend one energy to deal thirteen? We kind of do. So I think bash is actually better here. Get that damage in. Now we just hope we're not dead. Are we dead? Um, nope, we're not. Triple strike is 21. Rough times, rough times. Exhume, Burning Pack, Metallicize. We have a Master of Strategy that exhausts. So Exhume is a one mana draw three, kinda, if we draw it after Master. Um, can also Exhume a Shockwave. We really don't have good Exhume synergy, it's mostly a curse here. Burning Pack, I don't want. Metallicize, I don't really want either. I think this is a skip. Too bad for Exhum. All right, please don't kill me, please don't kill me. Okay, it's Gremlins. They don't have a, they don't have a Magician. So it's mostly um, Sneaky Gremlin that's a problem initially. We can uppercut that guy, and we can defend. Then we will be getting hit for 10 a turn, but we will be frail. Uh, if we shockwave strike, is that lethal on this guy? No, no, it's not.
This is really not looking good. This is really not looking good at all. And here's where we die. Bang. That was close. Man, advanced hallway fights, so, so painful. What's the potion I have? The potion that doesn't do anything. F. F in the chat. Anyways, what should we do next?
second ironclad run. Yeah, but if I lose two in one day, then I feel like quite bad, so I usually don't do that. Just do silent. Let's uh, upgrade through random potions, random rare relic. Ooh, I like rare relics. Uh, we have our slime boss. <laughs> yum yum. Can we take 15 damage though? Is silent good against fighting elites? We could fight three elites if we're willing to fight the spicy elite, but that's completely out of the question. So we should go for the best two elite path. And that might be like here, 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 maybe. Down for a relic. The cost of 15 HP is kind of hard on silent, but... Oh look, we got a threaded needle. Start each combat with four plated armor. That's really good. Plated armor gives you block at the end of your turn. And it goes down by one if you take damage. But if you don't take damage, it just keeps gaining you four block at the end of your turn. So right now we only need to block for three, for example. We have been weakened by the green louse. Plated armor doing some blocking. Sneaky strike, piercing whale, or slice. So, let's see. Sneaky strike is 0 mana deal 12 if you discarded a card this turn, otherwise, it's 2 mana deal 12. Uh, how much of the time are we discarding a card? Not that much, like probably less than half the time. So oh, it's more than one energy. Probably not very good. Piercing Will is always pretty good. I think a Piercing Will or a Slice here. Maybe we take a Slice just for our fights coming up. Your mana deal six. It's like a strike that doesn't cost energy. Okay, we can heal if we want. As you make your way down a long corridor, you see a banana, a donut, and a box floating about. Upon closer inspection, they are tied to strings coming from holes in the ceiling. There is a quiet cackling from above as you approach the objects. You can obtain a relic and become cursed. Though the curse doesn't have a good way to get removed, so maybe I'll skip on that. Instead, we have a nice heal for a class that doesn't have a lot of healing. I think I value the 17 life now much more than 5 life in next act. You eat the banana. It's nutritious and slightly magical, healing you. Oh, guess what? We got a relic. It's a Vedra. We start each combat with plus 1 strength for the rest of the time. If we have cards that add shivs to our hand, then each of those shivs will deal one extra damage. That's good. We have some good relics.
One damage off. Plated armor blocking. Poison potion. Apply six poison. Poison creatures lose HP at the start of their turn. Each turn, poison is reduced by one. Pretty good. All right, we have a backflip. I love backflip. Gain five block and draw two cards. There's also a Bane, but we have no poison currently, aside from our poison potion. Um, and an acrobatics. I like backflip. We are weakened by the green slime, and we will weaken it back in return. We have a choice between Masterful Stab, Outmaneuver, and Sneaky Strike. Masterful Stab says zero energy, deal 12. Costs more energy when you take damage. Well, it's like okay against the slime boss because you will not be taking damage. But late game, it's a curse because like, you know, versus the heart, are you really gonna stop yourself from taking any damage? That said, maybe we need it for the upcoming elites, do we? We could stop ourselves from taking damage easier with the plated armor. Is that, I, mean, I, I actually kind of want to try this. See how good it is, because I don't really know how good it is. What do our upgrades look like currently? This deals only four extra damage. It's not huge. Three extra damage. Extra turn of week, sign me up. I love upgrading Neutralize. It is our friends, the Thread and Needle. Got our Masterful Stab. Pack the front guy, I guess. We can preserve 1 HP if we um, defend here. And then our Masterful Stab won't be costing more. Although having it cost more is not actually that bad because... Uh, mainly because... Um, when we draw it the next time we'll also be drawing Dazed. And so having paying some energy for it is fine. And we lose one plated armor because we took a point of damage. That's a little bit annoying, but it's fine. This fight's going pretty well. The plated armor is really good, I think. Maybe we'll have lethal on this guy next turn. That'd be cool. Indeed we do. Here's where we take the damage. We survived so long without taking damage. Then with the very last century we had too much dazed. Sad. Stubby.
Potion belt, gain two potion slots permanently for the rest of the game. Ancient potion. Trace between predator, backstab, and deflect. Well, we have already added a bunch of zero mana cards. Predator is pretty good versus slime boss. Since the backstab is always good, but... Yeah, I mean, I guess we can just pick the backstab. It's fine. Uh... Well, I think Predator and Backstab are both really good here. Next turn, draw two additional cards. That means we can draw our zero cost stuff more frequently. I mean, it's pretty good, right? What is it better than backstab? Which is zero mana deal 11 and 8. And this is on the turn where we have our ring of the snake. Yeah, we should take Predator, I think. Okay. Goodbye! This is pretty good turn one, I must say. Wanna draw these cards? Yeah, we do. You bet we do. Solid. No damage from that advanced hallway. We have an accuracy. Shivs deal four additional damage. Unfortunately, we don't have any shivs yet. We weren't offered any. Uh, suck and slice are deadly poison. Deadly poison not that great against slime boss. We also have strength, which it's not that good with. We're not really going poison right now. Not to say that we couldn't shift to go for poison, but I think this is a skip for now. 26 gold, Nunchaka, every time you play 10 attacks, gain an energy. We're playing a decent amount of attacks. We added some zero cost attacks to our deck already. Um, now we have a choice between a rest site um, and two advanced hallways or two question or three, three question marks. So our rest site would be upgrading what? Five extra damage on Predator, four extra damage on Masterful Stab. Honestly, not even that impressive. Maybe we can take the question marks and uh, avoid the advanced hallways. Obtain the Golden Idol and trigger a trap. We have a choice between becoming cursed, taking 23 damage, and losing six max HP. Well, are we feeling so good about this act that we can actually just take 23 damage? I mean, we were kind of crushing <clears throat> that last fight. Are we going to be crushing this elite? I don't know. Maybe. I'm down to try. We have plenty of HP and we get to heal at the end of the act, so we might as well put our HP to use. <laughs> All right, this might be a little too much HP loss. Ooh, shuriken. Every time you play three attacks in a turn, gain one strength. That's huge for us. That's huge. That is huge for us. A shop? Uh, question mark card says future card rewards have one additional card to choose from. There's also an Envenom for 169 gold. Whenever an attack deals unblocked damage, apply one poison. This is very good in a shiv deck, but we don't have that many shivs yet. Um... Violence is actually not that bad here. We have zero mana attack, zero mana attack, zero mana attack. 
And we have shuriken. But it does cost 189. But I think a question mark card is probably more valuable than... Question mark card will give us, let us see, like, maybe like 10 to 15 extra cards throughout the run. Those can be used to help find wraith forms. Um, could be pretty good, I don't know. Card removal? Nah. I mean, violence isn't bad, right? Violence gets even better once the strikes are gone, too. I'll take question mark. Question mark card. What about a potion? Um, flex potion? That could be dealing good damage versus the slime boss. Okay, so what kind of setup do we want for this fight? None of these relics can really be set up. We could get neutralized in there. But honestly, like, waking him up with Predator is pretty darn good. We can't we can't wake him up and get a shuriken proc this turn though. We'll get a shuriken proc next turn, right? And let's also use the poison, I think. Poison isn't as good versus slime because uh, once it splits, the poison goes away. There's our shuriken proc, gain one plus one strength. And can we afford to block here? We can. Our masterful stab won't let it. Won't get. We'll still get reduced though because we only block fourteen. Only block fourteen of the fifteen. Kind of sad. And we'll get it. Got another strength. And again, we defend. Now we take seven. Master Stab being very expensive. Law Bank, whenever you climb a 4, gain 12 gold. No longer works whenever you spend any gold at a shop. Not bad. Eh, not that good either. Um, after Image says whenever you play a card, gain 1 block. We already want to be going for Shivs because we have Shuriken, we have Vedra, um, we have Nunchaku. And After Image is good at a Shiv deck because you play a lot of cards, so you gain a lot of block. We haven't been offered any other Shiv cards, but we do have the question mark card to find them. This seems good. Do we need to rest? Um, what would we smith? I don't know. Don't have that good smithings anyway. Resting is very safe. We do have a flex potion. Flex potion for the split should deal big damage. Hmm. I could consider upgrading the Predator. It's five extra damage. Which we do want to play for slime. I 
right, turn one. Predator. Masterful stab. We get our shuriken proc. We even can slice. We dealt 50 damage. Pretty good. Now we get gooped. Now we can play after image and double strike. And next turn we can hopefully go for a split with the flex potion. Let's draw a lot of attacks. Ah, uh, we did not draw a lot of attacks. Well, we're definitely weakening him. Are we flex potioning first to try to go for the split? He weakens to... Twenty-nine, I think. Um... Wait, wait, so let's see. What's a, like a similar example? Seven weaken... If you're, if you're attacking for seven, are you weakened to five? Yeah, you are. So in that case, it's probably 28. And we can block for 18 and take 10. Wait, we can block for 22 and take eight? Okay, that's better. That's better. Oh, we even blocked for more than that because of after image, which I forgot about. We only take two damage here. Wow. Oh, we didn't even draw that many attacks. We can still wait one more turn, maybe? We do get gooped for a lot more. Um. Hmm. What's the chance of us drawing three attacks? It's like decent. We also have the mana here. I mean, we could strike strike Nunchaku backflip, uh, and then draw something. Then we won't get slimed for as much. The split is still suboptimal in a Mega Drew way. So maybe not. We could backflip first, see what we get. Is that good? I feel like it's not. Let's just dig. Let's just see more digs and then we'll wake it up when it's best to do so. Uh, 14 and 8. Next turn will still be better. Alrighty. Alright, that's a pretty good split. They're down to 26. Another strength from our shuriken. Not bad, not bad. Storm of Steel, discard your hand, add one shiv into your hand for each card discarded. Shivs will give us a lot of shuriken procs. And they will deal extra damage with Badger and Shuriken. So that's very good. Um, just do we have the cards to be discarding? Tools of the trade at the start of your turn, draw one card and discard one card. Good with discard synergy, which we don't have really too much of yet. Alchemize, we can gain a potion. Very good with um, Potion Belt. This is a way to get permanently, permanently stronger. Um, kind of like feed for Ironclad, I guess, but not really as good. I don't know, Storm of Steel is definitely pretty cool. We also have After Image. 
Um, we just need the card draw, which we have Predator and Backflip. I have to try Storm of Steel. Never really played that card before. Hover and Kite, the first time you discard a card each turn, gain mana. Well, we don't need mana with Storm of Steel, unfortunately. What about Snekawai? We have a bunch of zero cost cards. So we already added two to our deck. We do have a Predator, though, and a Storm of Steel. Both of these are very good with Snekawai. Ectoplasm, gain mana at the start of your turn. You can no longer gain gold. I think the card draw from Snekawai is actually really good. Just the energy is... Hmm. Yeah, maybe this isn't the Snickle Eye. I don't know. Mob bank will stop our ectoplasm. Uh, ectoplasm will stop our mob bank. I just don't really like playing with Stekawai that much. It's not that fun for me. I just don't really like playing with ectoplasm that much either. Maybe ectoplasm is still better though. Whatever, I guess we're not getting gold this run. At least this deck will be more fun for me to play than a Snekawai deck. Even if it will be worse. Shuriken proc. Wow, we're floating so much energy, even with our Ring of the Snake. We need card draw, friends. We need to draw some cards. In a big way. The Storm of Steel is not doing much either, wow. 22? 8? That's 30, 38. 38 is no good oh. Block potion. Gain 12 block. Well laid plans? Nah, we don't have cards to save. We really just don't. Choke is okay though. Let's take choke. Ooh, cloak and dagger is also okay. Um, choke is a two energy card. Probably better. Duplicate our card. You can duplicate an after image. It's a good way to maybe make a deck that will survive versus the heart. I don't really know if that's good or not. But I did it anyway. When these guys steal from us, we won't get the gold back. Because when they we can't gain the gold back once they rob us. It's 
permanently lost. That's so sad. Also, they're hitting us for a lot. We don't have good block right now. I can block potion. We gotta rush them down so we don't get hit again. Thirty-seven. Yeah, can't kill it. Sad. I can backflip though. After an inch. Nah. Ooh, extra energy. I forgot about that. Maybe we could have killed it. I forgot about that nunchaku thing. Oh. Probably messed up there. If we could have killed it, we definitely should have. Uh, we can Storm of Steel, I guess. Yeah. Well, Storm of Steel is not doing much for us right now. I must admit. Oops. Ordering. They have robbed us down to 94 gold. Can you believe it? Incredibly rude! Blade dance? Add three ships to your deck? Yes, please. Yes, please! Ooh, but infinite blades, too. Infinite blades, too, though. Uh, this will take three turns to add that many ships. We don't have that kind of time. After image is gonna be good with the storm of steel, right? Wait, how do we do this? Do we actually choke here? No. Wait, we could. I changed my mind. We do choke here. I was really hoping he was going to be dead. Instead we took 10 damage. Yeah, that was probably a mistake. Dash, no thank you. Quick slash, yes please. Discard your hand, draw that many cards. Eh. Not really into it. Order low. That was the complete wrong order. So much value out of this shuriken, it's insane. Quick slash plus, acrobatics, prepared plus. Um, so we spend one energy to draw one and discard one less. That sounds great, yeah. Uh, I think acrobatics is the pick here, pretty sure. Um, Yeah, we should get our after image in play probably in this fight. And then, uh, how much block can we gain? 
so we're already at four, so we need 29, and yeah, we can, we can block. It's like reasonable. Okay, neutralizes here. Back foot first. Book of Stabo. We have to do the stabbing. Um, we can Predator for card draw. And then we Storm. It's going pretty well. Second after image, going pretty well. Um, so we can full block here. Or we can gain a strength. But probably we should just block. Now we take three. Oopsie, taking three. Is this lethal? No one knows. Very likely to be lethal though. Pentagraph! At the start of boss combat, heal 25. Another blade dance. Or a phantasmal killer. Ooh. Phantasmal Killer sounds really fun. I don't know if it's good though. Ooh, turn one Phantasmal Killer? That's Pog Trip. We have an explosive potion for this if we want. That was an insane Phantasmal Killer. Swift Potion. Do you want another Quick Slash? I mean, it seems fine. Ish? Maybe? Yeah, maybe, maybe it's a skip. Turn one phantasmal killer again. Charging up. Okay, now we're getting here for 33. Uh, this is suboptimal. A storm of steel here, huh? Are we just going for the smart plan? It seems reasonable. Just gonna be able to deal 39 damage next turn. Oh, a little bit more. Oh, no, nope, just 39. And yeah. 
Not bad, not bad. Fun scales. Uh, another acrobatics. Meal ticket for when we enter shops. Can we fight an elite on 17? Yeah, probably. Painful stabbo. See, the thing is, is I can't just, like, I mean, I can. We only need to play one defend to not die. Maybe defend is just fine. Thermo steel is always worse than it seems. Phantasmal. Where are our after images though? That's the real question. I want to say we should probably just draw three right now. Okay. Still no after image though. cards in the wrong order completely this fight. And that's all I can say. Seems like mostly no one's watching today, so I might uh, might just head out early. So, died in Act One again. With the ironclad.
拜。